What's the fuel of the future? It's the most plentiful stuff in the universe. Hey guys, here I am, CES 2015. I'm at the Toyota press conference and my mind has been blown once again by fuel cell vehicle technology. Now, you remember, I was crazy about this stuff a year ago. I'm still crazy now. I know Toyota is our sponsor, but I love this technology. I'd be talking about this no matter what, because this is what the future is all about. It is forward thinking. Now, some of us might not be familiar with how a fuel cell vehicle works. That's why I talked to Matt McClory, an engineer with Toyota, who is here today at CES. Well, at a very high level, uh, it's an electrochemical engine where you can directly convert energy into electricity, right? In this case, we use hydrogen as a fuel combined with oxygen from air, and we directly convert that in an electrochemical cell into electricity that allows us to drive the electric motor for the for the wheels. All right, now, now correct me if I've got this wrong, but as I recall, when you combine hydrogen and oxygen, besides the generation of electricity, you end up with water. Exactly, so the way a uh, membrane works is that uh, you get hydrogen from one side onto the fuel side, and that gets split up on the side of the membrane into a proton and an electron. But the membrane is a electron barrier, but a proton carrier. And so the proton can go through the membrane to the other side, but the electron has to take an external path. When it takes that external path, it goes through the traction motor. That's, that allows you to drive the car. When the electron comes back the other side on the air side, it combines with the proton and the oxygen from air, and it makes water. So that's it. You've got hydrogen on one side, oxygen on the other, and you end up with electricity and water vapor. No carbon emissions like gasoline or diesel-powered vehicles. That's pretty phenomenal. But that's not the biggest news of all. Toyota is going to share its intellectual property. It holds more than 5,000 patents worldwide on fuel cell technology. Everything from fuel cell stacks to the way that hydrogen power stations can be built. And now they're sharing that information for free. Why? Well, I asked Craig Scott of Toyota that same question. He had an interesting answer. Well, I mean, imagine you're changing everything, right? From soup to nuts, right? We're, we're completely revolutionizing an entire energy system. From the car to the station to consumers' mindsets, all of these things need to be, um, I don't say changed, but they need to be altered. And we need to find ways to educate people. A big part of what today is, is about sharing what we've learned over the last 22 years of developing this technology, but also finding a way to come together and build new things. While this may seem like a, a revolutionary idea to people, that something about sharing intellectual property, which often we view as being so important, that's the biggest revolution, I think. Many of, many of our careers have been spent on developing this car and this technology, and, um, and now we want to see what others can bring to it. And, um, and it's a great time to be, to be part of the hydrogen hydrogen world. It's the sharing of this information that allows for collaboration as well as competition and ultimately can bring about a hydrogen-based economy. Now this is a big idea and some pretty big thinkers have weighed in on it, including some right at the Toyota press conference. I got to show you a couple of highlights. We're talking about a game changer. Game changer that's going to change the landscape, not just of our lives, but perhaps the world of politics the world of energy, and energy is at the very basis of all of modern society. What I'm saying today is, we are present at the creation. Today's announcements on our patents has less to do with hydrogen fuel cell cars than it does about the cultural growth of a hydrogen society. It's obvious that there can be a higher societal value in openly sharing our IP. We can speed the metabolism of everyone's research and development and move into a future of mobility quicker, more effectively, and more economically. You're talking about changing a century old paradigm with a brand new infrastructure, a, a hydrogen economy. We've been talking about it since 1970 and today may be the day we point back and say, that's when it really started. I can't think of anything more forward thinking than that. But I'm curious to hear your thoughts. What do you think about fuel cells? What do you think is the future of cars? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit like, subscribe to our channel, and then check out these other mind-blowing videos right over here.